afternoon, everybody. Today, today I'm in Just Museum, and I'm in the studio of Mr. Udubra. Udubra. Ezekiel Udubra, yes. He is a friend to my father. Yes. I'm telling him, a friend to my father is also my friend. He's very, very. <laughs> so he's taking me around his uh, studio today, and he'll be explaining all his works. Yes. He has been an artist since 1978. Since 1978, I've been exhibiting. See, and he came from Benin. From, yes, Benin. Uh, but uh, I'm Delta State. Delta State. But I started my career in the museum in Benin. Mm. It's been a very long time. Yes, since 1975. I was born in 1972. So that was, what, I was, yes. how many years old? I was about, what, six years old? Yes. At that time. Wow. <laughs> so it's good to meet you. It's my pleasure, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. It's unity in action. The, the man and the wife going back home. From youth, I had the flair for the art, and I was discovered early by my uncle, who was a headmaster. And therefore, when I started work as a teacher, uh, my call to come to the museum as an admin officer in clerical session drew me closer to the field of the art. Do creative painting in various mediums. I work with oil, acrylic, and even mixed media. And I use local materials also to uh, enhance my paintings. When I was in Ibadan, I used to paint on boards, but on coming to Jaws, I discovered that painting on board cannot work because when canvas, you can easily remove and fold and people can take it out. And these are works which are depicting the environment. It is what you see you can recreate. And that's why you see most of my paintings are on the environment. Uh, previously, I used to capture things when I was in Ibadan, but now more in the north here. Yeah. From Benue to Morocco in North Africa is grassland. And that's why you see most of the huts uh, depicting people going around the forest zone uh, because life is a journey and uh, people are moving either from one place to the other, doing one thing or the other. And all those ones capture my attention and I put them on my canvas. I use local media, especially these round mats, which used to be for Fura Dunona and people put them on seat of cars, but now I convert them to my canvas. And a lot of works I've produced with them has gone far all over the world. People ask for my works from abroad and so on. And uh, I have my works in Ghana being sold for me and have in various galleries here in Nigeria too. Uh, I work every day. Through travels, I've gone far and wide. Traveled to Benin Republic, Ghana, uh, Togo, and so on. Uh, through my uh, educational uh, period where I was a lecturer in the East of Archaeology and Museum Studies. And that has given me flair to be able to capture other people's uh, sceneries and uh, all these things showcase the people because uh, it was said that uh, we were living under trees and uh, rocks it's a lie we our fathers had a technology of using mud bricks to build houses and uh, those houses were even stronger than the brick house of today and uh, with the grass if not for the yearly maintenance uh, they are cooler during the dry season and warmer during the uh, rainy season. And uh, they don't crumble like the skyscrapers of today. And those are the things that our father had a good technology because they were able to do them. Bullet doesn't pass through them because they are so solid and they mix them with grass. You know the technology, the grass stick to one another. And that is a high technology which they had. If it was, has developed with time, it should have given them a more advanced uh, process. 
but uh, they have done their best. And that is what uh, technology is all about. You see, there are some abstract paintings. Life is a circle. It goes round. That's why you see this painting. Uh, there are good side and bad side of life. And everything, you see the rocks of the plateau. Plateau is adored with series of rocks far from other places where there are plain land. And these ones also gives us areas of uh, operation in our pages. And you see people going out and coming in, uh, back home and so on. All these are things that our people do daily to make a living. And the uh, Rium Rock, uh -huh, these are rocks. These are people going back home uh, from their daily activities. And when you see the upper one, it is the Rium Rock, which depicts the NTA logo. Uh -huh. These are, if you are leaving just to Abuja, you will see this rock uh, strategically positioned by God as a symbol <laughs> of plateau. You see this cross culture, the plateau people dancing with aqua ibom. This side is plateau dancers, while the other side is uh, aqua ibom. I tag this one as cross culture because it is the interaction of people leaving one place to the other, missing up together. And that is the joy of Nigeria because we are united. We are united people. And when you get into the inner room, you see a lot of traditional activities of the plateau. Dancers. Uh, these are dancers of the plateau. Jarawa dancers. Uh, depicting their culture. And you see. Yes. You see the the Biron people. These ones are traditional men sitting in Mangu. Uh, they are waiting for the bride coming home so that they can capture him. That is the way of their marriage. Uh, these are some of the culture of the plateau. Uh, as I said, uh, more of the culture of the people, the drummers dancing and the, the, the mother with uh, the love of the children going back home. And you see, those are some of the typical paintings of the plateau. Your, the colors? The, my colors, I superimpose one on the other to give highlights and also to give distance. That's why you see a little pink, uh, gray color in front to throw the other ones backward. Uh, why the use of the reds and yellows? And, uh, uh, no, 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 no uh, contrasting colors so that it can bring out a bright day as they are going back home. Uh, that is a bright day. All these are also uh, dancers. Uh, series, these are, I call these ones new series. Mm, these are new series. My second son is an artist. Hey, I'm going to ask that hey, My second son is an artist. Okay, so he's fully uh, after you. Oh, very, very, even better than me. He, he, if you see his works, just see one, two of his works here, yeah, you, you will marvel. He painted the... The governor, he did textile in University of Benin, industrial art, and he used uh, Akara to paint the governor, and uh, he used uh, acrylic to paint the deputy governor. It, uh, these are his, my son's works. He's, more, he, he, he's a great painter. <laughs> he did his, uh, he did his uh, first degree in University of Benin and uh, went for his master's in ABU, Zaria, but now in Lagos. He said, Daddy, I cannot be just here with you. So he's based now in Lagos. As an artist? He's a practicing artist. Fantastic. Very, very. Fantastic. Nice. My pleasure, sir. Very good. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. So tell me, what advice do you have for the young ones coming up? No, it's always, I tell uh, the young ones that art is not just theory. Theory is just schoolwork. The moment you leave school, when you have uh, imbibed the ideas of what to do, you go into practice. And in practicing, you don't just wait to make millions overnight. You build name first. And that is what I encourage the young ones to always do. Because life has stages. And every stage in life has challenges. But those challenges, if one is able to overcome them one by one, he excels in whatever he wants to do. And there is no hurry in life. You build from a ladder. You climb from ground to up. 
Don't believe that because others have made it. You want to make it overnight. No. But make a name through your work as an artist. Thank you, sir.